Hello everyone, thanks for joining once again. Today we're gonna to talk about the most common or frequently asked FHA loan questions. I'm gonna address a couple of them here on the video and then I'm gonna direct you to the, to the website where we answer all of them down at FHALenders.com in the link in the first pinned comment and also the description. I'm gonna read off of the website a couple of these questions and I'll provide some answers. And then after that, you can follow along on the web page and read the rest of them. You can also ask some questions here in the comment section. And if it's a really good question that a lot of people might be interested in, then I will definitely add the answers to that question in the website. I'll put the question in the website and I'll answer it. Okay, so um, one, of the, one of the questions that people ask is, are FHA loans just for low income borrowers? And the answer to that is no. Um, FHA loans are not necessarily for low income borrowers. FHA loans can help people with at any income to qualify for a higher mortgage amount, okay? So low income borrowers can potentially qualify for a higher mortgage amount than they would for a conventional loan, depending on their situation. And it's not designed just for low income borrowers. There are many reasons why you may want an FHA loan. So for example, maybe you have low credit scores but have high income. Maybe you have high income but for whatever reason, very small down payment. Maybe you have high income and um, also you're, you're trying to buy an expensive home and the debt to income ratio is high and FHA allows for a higher debt to income ratio. So there, those are just a couple of examples. I can go into a few more but those, that's just another reason why no, FHA loans are not just for uh, low-income um, borrowers. Another uh, popular question is, are FHA loans just for first-time home buyers? And the answer to that is also no. Uh, there is no first-time home buyer mortgage per se, okay? So you, you can get your second home, your third home, your fourth home, your fifth home with an FHA loan. Now there are rules as to how many FHA loans you can have at the same time but if you've, if you've got a home now and you're looking to sell it and buy your next home, even if the home you have now was with an FHA loan, you can sell this home and then buy your next home with an FHA loan. That's not a problem. So no, FHA loans are not just uh, for first time home buyers. Another question I get is, can I get an FHA loan with student loan debt? Yes, you can. You still have to qualify for the mortgage. So if, um, if you have a, an established student loan pay, monthly payment, then that monthly payment is what's used in your DTI calculation, your debt to income ratio calculation, when the lender uh, evaluates your application. If you do not have a current payment, if it's deferred, for example, the lender must use a half a percent of the student loan balance as your payment on the application. So yes, you can qualify with student loan debt. Another one is, can I qualify for an FHA loan if I have a bankruptcy? Uh, you can qualify, yes. So let's talk about the two different popular types of bankruptcies you might have. Most common are Chapter 7 and Chapter 13. Chapter 7 bankruptcy. You need to wait two years from the, from the discharge date, the chapter seven discharge date, to establish an FHA case number for your loan application. However, there are exceptions that could be made in rare instances if you had extenuating circum circumstances. For example, maybe you were married and your spouse passed away and the spouse was the one that was bringing in the income and uh, you had to then file for bankruptcy. These are extreme circumstances, but uh, an exception potentially could be made for Chapter 7. But in general, the waiting period is two years, which is less than conventional waiting period. So just two years in, you can def of a Chapter 7, you can definitely get an FHA loan. Now, Chapter 13, a little bit more flexible. Chapter 13 is the one where you're making payments to pay off your debt. If you've been making payments for at least 12 months, you've made 12 on-time bankruptcy payments, then you can get approval to get an FHA loan now 
even though your bankruptcy is not over, it has not been discharged yet, and there's no waiting period, you'd be able to, to do this now. Okay, so um, those are the most common questions that we get asked. I have the rest of the questions posed on the web page below, the FHA FAQ page, which I'm linking in the first pinned comments and also the description. You can follow along and read them there. And if there are questions you may have that are not asked and answered on that page, ask them down in the comments section here of, of the uh, video and I will um, and put your question on the website and we'll answer that question there too. So thanks again for joining everyone and we will see you next time.